Yeah, so this is the this is the fucking intro, man. In case y'all didn't fucking know, this is the fucking intro to Parallel Universe. Basically compose um the music, man, you know, original fucking music. There is whatsoever no fucking samples in this shit. Like man, this is straight fucking original. I mean, just like dead ass fucking instruments, like, you know. Um, you know, chord progression, a lot of chord progression and a lot of fucking um, drums or whatever, you know, like movie drums and all that shit, but, um, I'm saying this shit was not fucking easy, this shit was very, very fucking hard, but, you know, if you're skilled and you're, you're a professional, you know what the fuck you're doing, then, you know, you got what it takes to comp- fucking compose music or whatever, so, you know, this shit, man, um, this shit actually kind of blew up, like, on fucking Instagram, you know, I had, like, a, I had, like, some type of film composer that was, you know, just actually discovered me, like, on fucking, um, I don't know, like, Instagram, whatever, but, like, this dude had found me, like, on Instagram, whatever, you know, um, dude had composed music for, like, films in Hollywood or whatever, I mean, you know, um, you know, discovered me, whatever, and I got, like, a, I got, like, a lot of love, a lot, a lot of respect, whatever, but with this track, man, you know, I just, I kind of, like, layer, um, the instruments in this, um, type of track, whatever, whatever man, I, you know, I, I got different, like, it's kind of hard to fucking describe, but it's, like, I got, Estimates all layered the fuck out, man. It's like for me talking, you probably would not understand how the fuck I'm doing it unless I'm showing you, showing you on a stream, showing you on the fucking screen how I fucking compose. But like, I'm really not gonna, you know, really go there or whatever, man. But I just want to say this, this fucking intro, um, you know, can be um used for a movie, or whatever. So you know, um. In case y'all don't know um, the intro to Parallel Universe, this is, um, I know y'all wondering, right? Like, um, damn, what, what fucking song is this going to be used for? Well, um, that's a good question. That's a good question, man. So, um, the question is, this is going to be used for the Belittle Ones. And, you know, it's crazy. I, I never told nobody that, but, um, this, this intro... It's gonna be used for Belittle Ones when Belittle Ones become a movie, so you know, you're gonna hear that same fucking song in there or whatever, you know. Cause um as y'all heard before, Belittle Ones, the main thing, um, music that I compose, whatever, is gonna be fucking big time, like um, you know, famous, like I'm really known for of my co- fucking composing whatever. So, you know, it's definitely gonna be on there. So I advise y'all to fucking check that shit out, man. This shit is big, you fucking mongus. Like, yo, dead ass. This shit's not easy. Um, love composing, man. I just I just love composing, pretty much. Um, I got into composing when... I want to say, like, after I, you know, came from the process of, like, you know... Like, com- of, like com- coming from, like, homelessness, whatever, man. Like, um, you know, I got right into it. Like, you know, composing, whatever. I don't know, but, like... Basically, man, like, my mom just brought me into the church, whatever, and I'm just like, hey, I'm just like, I don't know, I just, like, start composing, like, you know, start playing for, like, you know, um, choirs and shit, whatever, you know, start playing with the chords, you know, the keyboard, whatever, and uh, playing with, like, a bunch of um, um, singers, I mean, you know, gospel singers, whatever, but um, I start composing music and everything, right, and the shit just all clicked, whatever, and then um, one day, it was like, oh, shit, I didn't know I was gonna be, like, um, this big-ass fucking film composer, you know, just composing film music whatever even. it's, it's kind of crazy because you know all these film composers they're fucking white right not trying to be racist not trying to you know put into my y'all whatever but um what i'm saying like you know there's a lot of white people that that's film composers and you don't see too many black people right so it's like i wanted to feel like you know i'm gonna make fucking history whatever man like you know as a film fucking composer whatever man but um i do a lot of shit man and it's different, like, nobody has my sound, I I pretty much have my own sound, so, you know, with this, you know, being said, like, composing a lot of music, it's, it's fucking new to everybody, like, people are just figuring, like, no, you didn't do that, how the fuck are you doing that, but, you know, um, if I sit there, I'll show them, like, on a screen, and just compose, they'll, they'll probably fall out their seat, like, what the fuck, they'll probably go kill themselves, man, because, I mean, this shit, this shit is real as fuck, man, like, you know, it's a gift, it's a skill, I have a skill, I have a gift, so, you know, whatever the fuck comes out, it's gonna be dope anyway, anything I touch turns to fucking gold, so, you know, um, composing music, man, it's, hey, everybody has a passion, um, to composing music, and I love composing, 
I'm not just doing this shit for the fucking money, man. I'm doing this for the love. And to be dead ass honest, when I started, I wasn't even making no fucking money off of this shit. I just love doing this shit. And I know, um, I mean, like, that's why I got discovered by David Michael Latt from um, The Asylum. And I got discovered by, what's his name, Chris Olin Ray. I mean, big time fucking movie stars. Like, when these two books came out, when the Belittle Ones came out, I got discovered. That's how I got discovered. Like, right on Instagram, like, people, people like, you know, just shocked. Like, how the fuck did he, he, he do that? Whatever. I mean, because I put in the work. You didn't fucking put in the work. I mean, you got to put it in the fucking work in order to get, you know, um, results, whatever, you know, in order to, for somebody to, to fucking know who the fuck you are and get exposure. I done the work, motherfucker. Like, you know, so that ass, I'm just showing you how you got to do it. You got to put it in the fucking work. And just like, hey, um, keep going, whatever, you know, you might, you might not get quick results, but you got to keep going. But either way, I got discovered. Somebody knows who the fuck I am, whatever, you know, somebody in Hollywood, like, you know, I got famous people on, um, on me, like right now, just follow me, whatever. So it's like, um, I'm so fucking close to, you know, blowing the fuck up, whatever. But, um, th- those were the two, only two people that I got discovered by, like, David Michael Latt and um, The Asylum. Not only that, but um, as soon as this, um, well, Survive the Night came out, you know, it was a lot of fucking, oh my God. I mean, it was a lot of fucking film directors. I mean, I'm talking about from Los Angeles. People left and right coming out of my ass. Like, I mean, what the fuck? Like, yo, female film producer, like director, this, that, that, that. Like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, I'm, I'm just getting all these actors in it. People, were pre- um, this one guy played on fucking Resident Evil, fucking famous actor. I'm like, it just, the list never stops. It just keeps fucking going on. Like, motherfuckers never stop, like, period. Like, like, this is ridiculous. It's like, I'm not even doing this shit, bro. Like, I mean, to be honest, I didn't ask for fame. I didn't ask for a celebrity or none of that shit. I love doing what the fuck I do. And all this shit is coming. But not only that. God is bringing all this shit. God is making all this happen. Before I even came New Jazz, I was T-Nice. Before I even came New Jazz, before I even came with the name, bro, like, I was scared, like, all right, basically, y'all, okay, so, um, I was, um, T-Nice at the time, right, you know, I had, like, a fan, I had a little fan base, like, on Reverb Nation and everything, um, you know, as T-Nice, I had, like, a lot of, you know, people, I was doing, like, hip-hop at the time, I wasn't doing composing, um, you know, I didn't, I wasn't really into that shit at the time, whatever, I wasn't even an author at the time, I had no motherfucking books, but then as soon as I came New Jazz and everything, right, that's when everything changed, whatever, like, I was scared to leave my Reverb Nation, I was like, man, um, you know, if I leave that shit, I don't know what the fuck gonna happen, like, you know, I'm gonna lose some fans, but it's like, hey, I trust the guy, I was like, God, I don't know if you if you want me to do this shit, man, so it was like, hey, I left Reverb Nation, created another account, and what the fuck, like, I mean, just, my fan, fan base is skyrocketed the fuck up, like, <laughs> I didn't ask for all this shit, like, I mean, everybody came to me, and then, um, I created, um, well, I still had Twitter, or whatever, but I changed my name, hey, um, I don't know, celebrities came left and right out my ass, like, people, famous people asked me for fucking advice, like, this shit is ridiculous, I'm getting, like, celebrities, hey, yo, um, can you check out my music video, I need some respect, I need some, um, hey, yo, I need some feedback, I'm like, bro, you're famous, like, I should be asking you for feedback, like, what the fuck, like, like, famous people coming to me like that, I mean, that shows me that I'm a fucking leader or whatever, but, this shit is, you know, oh my, it drives you fucking crazy, man, because, like, you know, you never expect no type of shit like that, whatever, you know, all, all these celebrities, it literally scares the fucking shit out of you. <laughs> It literally scares the fucking shit out of you because, you know, uh, like, you're not used to, you know, seeing type of shit like that, whatever. But other than that, um, just want to let y'all know, man, um, hey, it is what it is, man. Uh, film, film composing is a big art, a big passion, and I'm ded- dedicated to this shit. So it's like, I've never stopped, like, even... With the book trailers, you know, I, I composed my own music for my own fucking book trailers. And that's how, basically, I got discovered. Like, um, David, I didn't, I didn't know who the fuck David Michael Latt was until I found out about Sharknado. I was like, oh, shit, hold up. I know Sharknado. I didn't know what I was to do, whatever. But, um, you know, he found me. And, you know, um, motherfucker had followed me on Instagram. And then it's like, you know, unfollowed me. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Like, I still don't understand what's going on. And then, so, like, you know, I came out with... Like, I got, got discovered with Lost in New York. I got discovered with Survive the Night. 
After Survive the Night, right? I came out with the third book, The Belittle Ones. That's when both both of them like had like unfollowed me on um, Instagram. Then they came around, turn the fuck around, right? Keep in mind, I hope y'all still listening. They turned around, came around and fucking followed me on fucking Twitter. Like, what the fuck? The fucking asylum, like, turns around, you know, just follows me on Twitter. Then Chris Olin, Olin Ray, um, you know, film award, um, Emmy, Grammy, producer, whatever the fuck you call it. I mean, this motherfucker turns around, follows me. And um, then David Michael Latt's company, film company, the asylum, turns around and follows me. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Like, this motherfucker, like, I just don't understand. Like, you know, it's, this is this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So, you know, um, it's a lot to fucking say, man. It's a lot to say. Like, you know what? You got so many celebrities and shit coming at you, like you know something about to happen. You know something big is about to happen. So it's like it get it gives you like oh my god, it gives you like um you know goosebumps and shit. You start to fucking shiver like what the fuck am I about to be you know famous? Like I don't really ask for fame. Like I don't I don't really want fame like that. But it's like God is the one doing all this shit. You know trying to make me famous, or whatever. I didn't ask for fame. I didn't want. You know, to be fucking famous. I just want to do my thing, get exposure. Now all this shit happening. Like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't, I didn't fucking ask for this shit. But um, hey, life, life happens. Hey, you know what? You know, some people are meant to be in your fucking life. You know, um, celebrities. So be it. You know, if they meant to be in your life, so be it. Let let them be in your life to make you fucking famous. Cause um, they the ones that probably blow you the fuck up. I mean, you know, just like I got Cheryl Underwood. Cheryl Underwood follows me. And you can look that shit up right now, like, you know, no lies, no bullshit. You can Google my name, Google my name, N-U-J-A-Z. Look that shit up on Twitter. I guarantee you fucking Cheryl Underwood follows me. And then, um, you know, Siri, everybody knows Siri, right? It's crazy, Um, you know, Siri had messaged me um, saying, like, I check her stuff out and keep, keep up with her podcast. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, Siri, I don't even know you like that. Like, I mean, goddamn. But, um, hey, shit's real, man. No, no made up shit. I mean, it's, it's proof. Like people, people scared to look up my name. Look at my name. I'm all over the fucking internet. Google that shit. That shit ain't hard. All over the fucking internet. I heart radio. Goddamn title. Goddamn. Like, it's not fucking hard, people, man. It's not hard, bro. Like y'all just sleeping on my fucking ass. That that that's it. That's it. But um, yeah, I'm about to end this podcast, man. I'm about to end this podcast, man. So that was basically the intro to parallel universe, man. And basically how I compose music and shit, so I will be letting y'all know more about my next podcast and shit, so I want y'all to stay tuned with this shit, and yo, peace out, I'm about to be out, yo, one, new jazz.